The traditional view of leadership in the American perspective is that heroic individual who has extraordinary talent and character, who's able to help average people overcome their inherent limitations. Uh, a single principal comes in and turns around a school like the Joe Clark story in Lean on Me. And we like this story and we tend to even ignore contrary evidence. Uh, the fact that Joe Clark, when he was the principal of that school in New Jersey, um, for eight years was unable to raise student achievement at any point during that eight year period. We tend to overlook those facts because they don't fit our story of that heroic individual who not only um, provides the answer, they are the answer. They are the answer to all of our problems. What we're trying to do in our book, Leaders of Learning, is to reject that premise and to offer a different view of leadership. To say that it's not something that's inherent in just a few people or innate in just a few people, but that virtually all of us have the ability to lead. That we want to argue that the more widespread and dispersed the leadership, the better organizations are. And we also want to argue that particularly in education, if you have a role in education, you have not, not only an opportunity but an obligation to lead. When Kozis and Posner did their study of leaders that's lasted now for over three decades, they asked people to name the most influential leaders in their lives. And parents were first, but second were teachers and coaches. And as they said, if you're in any position where you're interacting with young people, you are in a position to lead, so don't ask whether or not you are leading, you are. The only question is what kind of leader you'll be.